These are Iraqi Dinar Guru updates, news, opinions, and Intel Dinar opinion. According to Iraqi Dinar guest Dr. Jan Halper Hayes, people still ask me a lot of questions, like when will something happen why does it go at such a sluggish pace according to Murphy's Law, anything that may go wrong will. That s the real world. The financial revival is indeed necessary. Documents that were headed for lawmaking were sent to an Iraqi committee, where certain amendments were made by the concerned parties. Upon reaching the final decision-making committee, they discovered that these items had been surreptitiously included. They began the procedure anew. That s life, things do happen. Iraq will be able to trade its currency and return to the financial markets once they get their act together. According to newshound guru Breitling, Iran, it everything comes down to that. We will begin to penalize Iraq for being overly influenced, we will hold them accountable if they provide support to organizations that launder money and get U.S. currency through financial institutions located in Iraq. This is reality, so put on your big boy pants. That s what s taking place. I'm neutral for the time being, but they Iraq can turn things around. I have no idea how this will work out. I simply don't. According to Iraqi Dinar Newshound Guru Claire, article titled U.S. Treasury Places Kamiz Al-Kanjar on Sanctions List Translation, the U.S. Treasury Department, through the Office of Foreign Assets Control OFAC, has placed the head of the Sovereignty Party, Kamiz Al-Kanjar on the sanctions list of known individuals and entities with whom dealings are prohibited. According to newshound guru Militia Man, individuals are receiving spankings. They are running into problems. Things are being shut down by them. Bank managers are being prohibited from their jobs. They are pursuing you if it is discovered that you are corrupt. You will run into issues if you don't follow the guidelines. One entire level of the central bank is used by the United States Treasury. International conformance is crucial. They have your number if you are financing terrorism, money laundering, or counterfeiting. According to Iraqi Dinar Intel Guru Frank26, report from Boots on the Ground in Iraq Firefly, a buddy at the bank advised me not to worry. The U.S. Treasury may appear to be a disaster in this situation but it's actually for the better. Their purpose is to assist us in moving on with the ultimate stage of the currency changes. We ought to finally witness what we have all been waiting for once the problems are resolved. It's excellent. Believe me. Frank, if your bank buddy advises you to believe him, do so since, in my opinion, he is 100% accurate. According to Intel guru Mark Z, with PDK is a non-disclosure agreement necessary for currency, Mark Z, we can't say for sure though. We're still being informed that bonds and ZIM that are only for currencies 1T have an NDA. However, be ready in any scenario. According to Iraqi Dinar Newshound Intel Guru MNT Goat, whoa. The news from Iraq in August is explosive. The currency auctions and banking system have undergone several modifications recently. I've been informed that this is the result of pressure from the U.S. Treasury and the Federal regarding timelines, my CBI source advised me to monitor the developments of the financial reforms being pushed by the Federal Reserve. This covers the currency auction levels and the difference between the official CBI rate and the parallel market rate.